Hi everyone. Hey everybody. Steven the Medium. Coach Elix. Coach Elix. Now I have to start with this. As my friend Paul said, these are jazzy hands. I don't know why I started that way, but now I feel like I have to every um, video that we start. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you the little hands. Holly, Heidi, how Holly, are you? You miss us? Yes. Amy, how are you? So we're back. We weren't here last week. And hey, Heidi. Even though we did a Facebook Live last week. Uh, we did over the hotel. Um, <clears throat> hey, Amy, uh, over the Vinoy Hotel. We did, which I'll talk about in a second. So we, we us too, Holly. Holly, just on a side note, coming here, we both have coats on. That's how cold it is. I know. It's in the 50s, and I... Um, I, and he loves it because all he did was complain about how hot Florida was. Hey, listen, Paul, Paul's on. Paul, I because just... Because you did jazzy hands. I just talked about you. I love that when I start like that and you said jazzy hands. So now I guess that's my, my thing, I'm right? I'm going to get him the little hands from, you know, <laughs> what, what are they called from Saturday Night Live? The Maharala sisters. Yeah. Yeah, if anyone knows that. The, um, it is cool, Holly, for almost June. It is. Um, and if we could just keep this July and August, I'd be all happy. Yeah, he's right? very happy, people. And just so that you know, this is his <laughs> weather. As soon as we landed, it was rainy and cold, and he's like, this is glorious. Hey, Donna. So. Look at our Ireland friend. Who? Ailish! Ailish, how are you? It's so good to see we you. We miss you. And, and another, another Floridian, Norka. Norka, we were two houses down from you. We never got to see you. We got to see your dog, though. We saw, the, yeah, we saw we, your as, house. Uh, yeah, and the house as we yeah, went by. We took the boat. In, in the boat, right. Uh, Heidi's freezing. So, I don't know, Heidi. We'll, we'll get out of this soon, I'm sure. But listen, I'm really excited that we're back. Last week, we missed all of you guys. I always miss doing the show uh, through the static, so... Eilish, but, we're gonna we're gonna go to Ireland. She just did the Green Hearts. Yeah, we can. And you're gonna be our tour. Yeah, I would love to go to Ireland. I, I'm really excited. It's on my bucket list, Eilish, to go to Ireland. So, but how are things going with everybody? Uh, make sure you share the this video so that people, your friends and stuff, can see and, this and, and give us some likes, some hearts, love. Give us some love. So hooray, yay! Eilish. That would be so great. So, but we had a great, great time in Florida. <clears throat> I'll just um, you know, just briefly. Hey, Betty, how are you? Stephen, um, she's almost, in Key West, Betty. Oh yeah, Stephen almost melted because it was ninety something degrees, and he. It was like ninety four degrees. It was. It was sick. I was getting depressed. The only thing that saved me was my family and getting to see everybody or our family because both of us have family. Um, but the heat was, I was very, very happy to be back here. So back to yeah. my New England. So. Again, as soon as we landed, it's 50 degrees. It's rainy, cold. And Stephen was like, this is glorious. It is. Cro yeah. Listen, Crokes is watching. Crokes knows me, right? Right, Crokes? <coughs> Hi, Crokesy. So, uh, yeah, I, I know it would have been nice. As a matter of fact, Betty, um, uh, um, uh, my cousin, my family went to Key West. They went Saturday, right? They went Saturday and came back Monday. Monday. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and I'm, I know they had a great time too. So, but we're really excited about being here and what are you laughing at? You. Why? I'm excited yeah. about being back, right? And getting to do the show and getting to chat and um, any questions anyone has, ask us um, a long drive. Yeah, she took the ferry from, um, uh, I don't know where she had to drive. Well, Holly's here. Where did you take the ferry from? Yeah, Holly, where did from? you take the ferry Holly. from? Uh, so and the ferry went from uh, wherever the town to Key West. So, so it wasn't that bad. It was like an hour and a half, something like that. I can't, I can't remember what it was, but... Um, we, hey, Nicole, yeah, I don't do well in the heat as well. I'm with you, Steve. See, now this is why I love Nicole. Oh, Nicole, Fort Myers. Nicole, see, we're together, right? Oh, here we go. I hate the heat. Oh, Fort Myers, yeah. Holly, yeah. yeah. So, Holly, how long was that, 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 uh, ferry? I can't remember. Four, oh my God, four hours. Oh, so I, see, I told you. That was long, huh? Um, so, well, we didn't get to do that, but um, we got to do so many great things. We went to um, 
uh, Holly, my cousin's boat, she took us out, which was... That was a highlight. Oh, my God. It was the best. Just yeah. being there. And um, three of, of her dogs came with us, which was so cool to have them. As a matter of fact, one came right in the water, Stormy. Stormy, who gets more publicity... No, of them actually came in the water. The little, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, um, Tuffy. Tuffy. Tuffy came in the water, too. So, but Stormy gets more publicity than... Both of us put together, a lot of people put together. So the ferry was broken and they had a whale watch boat from Boston that they used. Oh, is that oh so that's funny, interesting. Holly? So we had a great time. We went to Universal. I had never been to Universal, but... But not just Universal. We did the VIP tour yes. and it was worth every penny, every penny. It was amazing. Just a great, great way to do Universal. We ended up doing what? Probably around ten rides. Yeah, and they give you get. You, you know, the great thing is you get yeah. you get um, a, a tour guide. There's only maximum in your group is twelve people, which is so cool. And this tour is it guide, twelve. Really yeah, we only had eight, right? No, we had like eleven, I think. Oh, the tour guide, eleven or twelve. The tour guide uh, tells you like um, all about uh, Universal. You get to go like backstage. Um, there was one ride. Hey, Karen yeah. and Jane, there's one ride that you actually got to go under. So you got to ride it and then you the, got to the go. The mommy. Yeah. We got, did the mommy. You could look up and see see the ride above you. It was so wild. You didn't wait for no, nothing. one. Like you didn't even wait one minute. They, they're all like hooked up like and, and talk to each other. So when our group walks in, it's like we're, we're just we bypass everybody and you just get ready to go on the ride. So it was pretty amazing. The rides were mommy. I think the mommy was one of my favorites, yeah. but I had never been to Universal. And then we switched over to uh, what's the second park? Um, Island of Adventures. Adventures. Island of, yeah. of Adventures. We went to, to that, too, which was really, really cool. So um we had a great time, and uh, even though I was slowly melting, mm -hmm. I literally, I think I yeah. am now, um, I'm like 5'11", when I went to Florida, and now I'm 5'6", so I just melted the inches right off, because <laughs> it was 94 degrees there. It's too damn hot, so, but we did have a great time. It was the, the most important thing was that we were with family. We stayed at Clearwater for three nights. We stayed at St. Pete for three nights two different hotels and if anyone watched my live or our live uh oh now it's your live see how this did works? you see how quick i corrected that yeah oh my god so now Please it's help. live i'm just i'm just to help people <laughs> and we talked about the vinoy and guess what there really are ghosts i know like management doesn't want to talk about it but like holly knows all about it because i told her but there really are there were ghosts uh, they're on. There's two sections of of the St. Pete um, Vinoy Hotel. There's the original section, which was built in the 1920s, and then in the 19 early 1990s, they built another piece to it. But the ghosts are in the original pot. Of course, it makes sense, right? We didn't know that they were even ghosts until we were actually there, and of course, our reservations were on the original pot, so we were right the, in the, the same place. Building, yeah, yeah, with with the ghosts. And as I was walking. Um, Elix and I worked out every day and he worked out longer. So as I was coming to the hotel, uh, to, to go to the room, I could hear like these like laughter and there were kids that were like ghost kids and they were just kind of hiding and peeking out and having fun with me. And the cool thing was at first I heard one of them say, how does, he, how can he see us? It was wild. And then I got to tune into the, um, the, sort of like the main ghost. So I'll tell, uh, I'm going to do like a recap on when the show starts because we, we're going to have to get over soon, but it was amazing. And we're going to have to do a shout out to Joanne, our concierge and personal tour guide. Yeah. She was amazing. I don't know that she's on Facebook, but maybe I know she's probably going to look you up and maybe she'll get to the YouTube yeah, and, yeah. I, I think I don't. I don't. This. I think we mentioned, and I don't think she's on Facebook. But you know, she actually left. Um, the, you know, the concierge um, well, counter because they do have tours. Yeah. Uh, but she gave us a personal tour, and it was amazing. Yeah, which was, was awesome. which was really cool. <clears throat> and um, you know, I always say that ghosts get a bad rap. People just automatically think ghost and they're causing trouble and they're 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 mischievous. And you know what? 
I guess sometimes maybe they can be, but for the most part, this ghost was very nice. It sounds so weird, doesn't it? But I'm talking about this ghost sounds sounded so nice. He was really nice. And um, I, honest to God, I'm going to say this on, on the radio show, but at like 6 in the morning, I went to check my phone on the nightstand. And when I pulled the phone to take a look at what time it was, this necklace that I'm always wearing was on, I don't sleep with it, so it was on the nightstand. And the wire to the phone that was connected being charged slid the um, necklace off. And I, I actually heard it slide and then fall. But I'm thinking, I looked at the phone, it was like six o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I'm not getting up. So several hours later, because I think I wouldn't get up to like 8.30 or nine o'clock, I get up and where's the damn necklace? Back on the nightstand, but not where I put it, like really in, like far in to the nightstand to make sure that I didn't do that again. So had to be ghost. Talk about spirit moving things and ghosts moving things. I mean, really ghosts, well, they are earthbound spirits. So, mm -hmm. um, but I tell people all the time when I do this, um, uh, that's why you didn't, I, honest to God, Trish, I was going to text you back and I couldn't cause we were just starting this. So, you know, pick the worst time, Trish, right? But hopefully we'll, um, we'll get to speak tomorrow. So, um, but the, the, I mean, ghosts really are just earthbound that are just hanging around for a particular purpose generally. And I don't mean that I don't want to get like emails or anybody saying that's not true about ghosts. I'm just saying that for the majority of ghosts, they're usually earthbound. Um, they're, they're, they're people that walked, not always, but people that walked this earth. And then when they crossed over, they stayed here. So that's usually what ghosts are. But they usually stay for a reason. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but it was, it was really a fun, uh, experience at this hotel and my cousin told elix first i had no i had never heard about the vinoy and ghost and apparently i didn't even look it up but apparently um she mentioned that um sports teams now sometimes well, don't, some of them don't want to go there because of of issues well, so they're probably superstitious and who knows oh uh, the ghosts don't like them yeah that's probably more of a reason is it because they are still in transition you know um, Nicole, that's a really good question. Uh, I don't think they're in transition because I think they elect to stay here. Um, some of them, I guess maybe some may have stayed too long and then can't figure it out because I know that there's like this rescue mediums, but, um, there's the conversations can go on and on and on. And I think just like individuals, ghost also can be individual on their circumstances. So, um, maybe some are not in transition. Maybe some are in transition. So, uh, and it's not like I've had a real lot of experience with ghosts either. So, but this one was really, was really cool. We're going to get over because we have to get over. It's five o'clock. So for those of you who want to call the show, the must show, go on. 508-222-1320. I am going to take the phone so that we can bring it into the studio. Um, this is the best time to call early so that you don't get any uh, traffic because uh, a lot of people do call. Okay, here we are. Just give us a moment to set up. A little warm down there. What was that? What was that? A little warm. Well, I'm telling you, I was just saying on Facebook Live, I honestly was getting depressed. Because I'm not a summer person, and that 94, 95 degrees was killing me. It was like I could really feel it. Steven is complaining down. about how hot it was in Florida. It was. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, I hear you. I'm not complaining. Mark asked me. So it was a little warm down there. I'm sorry. Um, Ailish, I'm going to have Stephen answer that question because I don't know. We actually had been there like in August for, for Miss Universe pageant. And Bye, um, Betty. Yeah, under 20 in the shade. Hi, Brian. Yeah, it was the same thing, Mark. I, I didn't. No fun. Why am I having so many issues here? I don't know, Stephen. Um, so, Ailish has... A question. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Stephen and Elix from Texas. Kathy, I'm heading to Texas in a few weeks, the end of the month. I'll be there. I hope the weather is not too hot for me. I am not tropical, people. Tom's brother passed over at 25. A psychic says he visits Com. Is that possible? I don't know. 
Steven, you're gonna have to listen to read these comments from My English. Colors, we have about two minutes. All right, so can you read this and just see what, um, what is it? Com Ailish. Calm's brother passed over at 25. A psychic says he visits Calm. Is that possible? Oh, well, sure. Is, is Calm's, uh, uh, Calm's is a person, right? Uh, is that your husband? The yeah, it, it, does he visit? Yeah, absolutely, Ailish. Yep, that, that's exactly, that's all spirit does, is they want to just keep visiting and let us know that they're here with us. That's what it's all about. And always trying to get, in this particular case, Calm's brother's trying to get Calm's to see the signs, because it's always so calming to know that our loved ones are with us, right? So they try to do whatever they can to give us signs, but signs that we get to see. So, right, early, right, and then right. We'll have it off and on through about midnight. Temperature is falling. Getting ready. Getting so, ready. again, the number to call is 508 222 1320 if you want to get through. Uh, a potent weather system brings you and thunderstorms. You should be calling sooner than later. Most of it All right, really? Oops, is that me? Right now, Increasing lots of tornadoes. Oh, Ka 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 Kathy, that's not Are good. No. We had one, but they gave up. Well, <laughs> well the show doesn't start till 5. Sunshine, yeah. Once again, highs in the <laughs> what time do they call? Okay, so. For over 47 years, 25, of like offering 25 seconds for children with autism spectrum disorders and other disabilities. Located at 33 Perry Avenue in Attleboro, Amigo has been committed what? to building yep. vital relationships with all the All right, everyone, so we're getting ready for the show. programs, transitional planning, and a continuum of services to support all ages. For more information, you can visit their website at amigoinc.org. Sophie! Good afternoon and welcome to Through the Static. I am Stephen the Medium and I'm here with Coach Elix. Hello everyone. And Mark producing the show. And welcome back for us, right? Welcome back. Welcome we weren't here last back. week and I missed, you know, anytime we're not here, I always miss doing the show, but we're back today. We're very happy to be here and I get to do what I love. So as we said last week or two weeks ago rather that we were heading to Florida. We had a great, great time. I have family. Elix has family. So it was, you know, what's better than um, hanging with family? We were able to go to my niece Morgan's eighth grade graduation, who was valedictorian. So how's that? That was the awesome. The smartest kid. And the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. By the way, is my mic on? Because I can't hear. I can hear you. Oh, you can hear yeah, me? Yeah, through, okay. the, through the headset, yeah. Yeah, okay. I can. Maybe it needs a little higher. I don't know. Volume. It feels weird, but never, can, never mind. On Facebook, can people... Uh, well, no, they are on Facebook. I was going to say... Um, I can... Yeah, I can hear you. Talk. Yeah, if, it, yeah, if anyone's listening... No, I can definitely hear you. If you can hear me. Definitely. All right. Just go. So we were able to, <clears throat> like I said, spend time with family. We... Went on my cousin's boat, which was incredible. We just had such a great time. And we went to Universal Tours, and we did the VIP tour. So if anybody is going to Universal, I know it's it's not cheap at all, but it is worth every It's the only way. To, yeah. to go to Universal, you've got a maximum of 12 people in the group, and you have a tour guide. And she, you start off with breakfast, then she, she just starts moving you, and, and you wait like for no rides you, yep. you there's not even two minutes of waiting when you get to the ride and she's explaining all this information and you get to go backstage you get to ride the rides and you get a couple of them go under and look above and see the rides above you it was incredible um I and, said, and, and they give you we start with breakfast uh they come back for lunch and it's a really generous yeah Breakfast buffet and lunch buffet. The, the 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 lunch 
was like this huge like buffet spread. Yeah, amazing. With I mean, with fish, with chicken, with macaroni and cheese. I mean, it just went on and on and on. It was pretty incredible. I think we had like forty five minutes, and then we went back to the ride. So we did um, uh, both parks, uh, Island of Adventure. We also went to. I think that's the name of it, right? I think so. And that was pretty amazing too. Yeah. And, and we did about I think probably about ten rides, which is really on. I mean, amazing for a park like Universal because some of these rides have hours, uh, mm -hmm. wait times like two hours. And a big shout out to Sam, who was our guide, right? That's right. She was she was really really terrific. So it was a it was a great great time, and we stayed two hotels. We stayed at Clearwater the first three nights, and then we stayed at the Vinoy in Saint Petersburg the second night and I don't know Mark did you see my um, live when we were down there about the Vinoy so Elix and I uh, the, the, the second uh, half of the vacation we're going to the Vinoy which is a beautiful uh, historic hotel and I had no idea that there were rumors that there were that there were ghosts that live in this hotel so we got there and there's two parts of the hotel, one that was built in the 1920s and then a more revised second part, which was in the early 1990s. But we stayed in the um, historic part, the one that was born and um, built in 1920s. And um, just for anybody who's listening and wants to know, I'm here to tell you that there are ghosts at the Vinoy. Yeah. Yes, they're ghosts. The medium would know. Yes, absolutely. They were kid ghosts. And there was a main ghost. I kept calling him Ghosty because I didn't know what to call him. So <laughs> I was like, oh, Ghosty's here. And um, just a quick story that one of the uh, mornings around 6 in the morning, I grabbed my phone that was on the nightstand just to see what time it was. And it was like, I think it was like 10 past 6 in the morning. But when I grabbed it, it was ch being charged. The wire... Um, sort of pushed the necklace that I wear that I don't wear to you know when I'm sleeping it was on the nightstand and I could hear it actually slide you know off the nightstand and hit the ground and I'm thinking I'm not getting up to pick that up so a couple of hours later I think 8 30 9 o'clock we, we were really tired I got up and where was the necklace mark it was back on the nightstand and it wasn't even where I put it it was way in the back of the nightstand I guess Ghosty wanted to make sure it wouldn't fall again. It was the coolest thing. And I always tell people, you know, people sometimes don't get that spirit can actually move things and do things. That's why I say, you know, when you find a coin, you know, in, on your driver's seat, when, you know, you get out and you come back and the coin wasn't there. It's all stuff that spirit can do and they can manipulate the physical stuff. And, and this definitely was, was picked up in uh, the concierge. Uh, gave us a big shout out to her, jo jo Joanne. Joanne, who was incredible. She gave us like a, uh, a mini private tour. And when we were walking, um, you know, I asked her, I said, I said, can you talk about the ghost? And she, you know, she said that management doesn't like um, them talking about the ghost because they don't want people to, to think it's it's. You I know, know, but that's sort of dumb because that's part of the history of the hotel. I think they should I, embrace I, that. I agree, but you know, there's people. But I did tell her, I said, before you tell me anything, I said, um, the ghost told me that he plays with water if he doesn't like the, the person. And Elix and I saw Joanne almost choke because she said that's like the number one issue that people have said, that they're, they get in bed and then the bathroom water goes on they get up they shut it off get back into bed and the bathroom water goes back on so it was really cool but you know I, I i always say ghosts get a bad rap he was very nice it was hard for me to understand him so i kind of got two stories one that he worked there in the 20s and was was fired but then i got another story from him saying that he was looking for somebody that that during that period of time someone died and i don't know if this was a child maybe that that you know when the hotel opened back in the 20s died in the hotel i'm not really sure because it was very difficult for me to completely understand but it was one of those stories all i know is that for the most part he stays very quiet the hotel's beautiful um, and I would tell anybody to go to this hotel because you may get, you know, a little love from Ghosty, as I call him. And it was it was great. And 
I think he only bothers people that are nasty people. So nasty people stay out of that hotel. Nice people go <laughs> to the Vinoy <laughs> because he was very nice to, to me. And he actually said that he very much loved the uh, concierge. And, you know, after talking to her, and of course I read her because that's what I do, right? She... Um, she was very, very connected and believed in spirit. So it wasn't a surprise. And she was, when I told her, she kind of applauded. She clapped her hands and she was very thankful that that ghosty liked her. So, um, but it was overall, it was a great, great vacation. Um, but I have to say it, it was too hot. Oh, it was oh my too God. Hot. Here, here we are hot. in this beautiful setting, it the beach, some beach. And all he did was... It's too hot. It's too hot. It's too hot. It's it hot. was 94, 95 oh degrees. God. That is too hot. Even walking outside, it's like you get punched in the face with heat. So, listen, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it was very, very hot. I loved the time there. I loved spending time with my family, with your family. We had the best and time. And with me. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. That, were yeah. you there? Yeah. <laughs> and, and then as, when we got back, it's, it was cloudy, rainy, cold. And as soon as we got into the airport, here's Steven. Oh, this is glorious. This is my type of weather. What's wrong with these picture people? Well, I'm just, I'm not a summer person. So, you know, but I'm sure everybody else. Well, listen, there were even people complaining in Florida, right? I mean, the concierge said, this is ridiculous. It's not even summer. The guy parking our car said the same. No matter... If you love heat, I'm sorry. 95 degrees is too much. Walking outside, it's too much. I couldn't even breathe. So, but I had a, I, I did have a great time. So, um, so people in Florida, uh, I, I, I love you. I, I'm just not thrilled with the weather. That's what it's all about, right? So, but everyone kept saying that it's, it was, this was unusual this early and as a matter of fact well, it is unusual well as a matter of fact we were walking through the park and to, to head someplace and i heard some guy say to someone um it's nice out it, the, the summer heat hasn't started i wanted to say the summer <laughs> summer heat hasn't started how hot is it in the summer here <laughs> all right listen we're going to take a break and we'll be right back can you hear okay now i i think so i i cannot tune it out um, Eva, Puerto Rico is not as hot as he was in Florida this past week. Eva, I've been to Puerto Rico uh, like a million times. I know you live there. I have never felt that heat. No, it's never. Bad. It I mean, bad. I know Puerto Rico is really hot, but that Florida heat was no. It uh, was it was hot. Heidi, what's a pin pose? I don't know what that is. What is it saying? I do a pin pose with the number next time. Oh, a pin post is Heidi. Isn't that when you 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 post it so it doesn't move? It actually stays there so people can actually see the phone number. So how, what does that mean? How do you do it? I don't know. I'm just. I'm just pretty uh, amazed that I even know that Heidi. I think that's what it is. Yeah, so, but I don't know how to do it. Tell me how that works because I have no idea. So, by the way, guys, um, give us some hearts. Give us some likes. Share, 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 tag. So that, you know, um, we can get into that Facebook algorithm. It's my friend Linda. Well, Linda, how are you? I've got to tell you. And Louise, how are you? Louise, I saw you're posting in uh, Thank you. the anniversary of Butch. I know that's tough. It's very, very tough because I know how much um, the two of you meant to each other. So it's it's anniversaries are very, very tough. So Heidi, so I'm right, right? With the, the well, Heidi, yes, we, we clearly get the yes. Like, Stephen knows uh, how, how to do it. Do we get it done? Stephen doesn't know. Heidi, that's the question. <laughs> This gonna be this gonna be uh, something simple. I'm assuming. Your viewers. They might not have every qualification you typically look for, but they're well, exactly we can play around needs. with it some other times. So. Don't miss out on a resource many innovative companies have already discovered. Right, Go right. Go to gradsoflife.org to learn how to find, cultivate, and train this great pool of untapped talent. Brought to you by I'll figure it out. It must be weird. Like at uh, well, 5 o'clock, you just leave okay, without us here. Yeah. Yeah. And and I I am. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I missed the dedication. What was it, Felix? Uh, Christmas. Drummer boy. Uh, yes. Love it. And then he says he's not going to play any more Christmas songs. Boo! Uh, um, 
Have you been to New Orleans? Yeah, I have. He has, I haven't. You gotta go. Oh, I love Yeah, I have never been. The Hotel Monteleon. It's haunted. Music club is another. Is it, have you been? Fourteenth floor. So Mark is telling us another hotel in New Orleans that is um, haunted. I have to lose some weight before I go there because those beignets. Did you experience any of the ghosts? Amazing. You did. The temperature drops dramatically when you walk down the hall, and there's no air conditioning vent. Wow. Okay, guys. Here we go. 508-222-1320 if you want to get okay, red and uh, first time callers, please, okay? And that's all it takes is a lot of love. I love listening to that music. It's the only music I'm going to ever use. I, you know, I'm just thinking, I can't believe July 25th, which is right around the corner, is going to be a year I started this program. And Mark, you were the week before, right? It, it's, it doesn't make, like, it doesn't feel like it's almost a year, right? I'm mean, uh, going into so, June. So, Mark, are you going to bake a cake? Yeah. For, <laughs> Am I going to bake a cake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, his maybe, mother is. Yeah, He's going to see the way his were. mother cooks. Maybe right, and bakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a- absolutely. It just goes by so fast. It's pretty funny. So, all right. Uh, do we have calls? Uh, okay. Let's stop this up. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, who's this? Um... Uh, well, are, are you testing me because I'm a medium and I should know who this is? All right, yeah, I, I'm really good. I, I, I got it. I got it. Uh, Frank. <laughs> I, I'm kidding. I could tell you're a woman. I'm kidding. But I have no idea. So tell me your first name. Hi, hi, Heidi. Heidi from Facebook? H- Heidi, how are you? <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> so did. And of course I knew you were a woman. I'm just playing with you. So, Heidi, how are you? I've never, I've, I've never met Heidi. Um, I, I know uh, Heidi is someone who's always on Facebook Live, which I love. And, and her, and it's, it's your aunt that you always say this is like happy hour, right? <laughs> well, I, I, that would that's very nice. But I know you're not calling. I was going to say I know you're not calling just to to say hi, even though hi. Um, but let me let me let me do uh, a little reading for you, Heidi. So, um, wow, Heidi. Um, you know I'm pausing because it's it's been several weeks that I that I've actually tuned in. To somebody that is really, really, really connected, which you are. Uh, but I just heard, I just heard, oh my God, I can't even keep up with who's here. There's so many people, Heidi. But someone just said to me that you, what was that? Um, <laughs> um, you didn't start happy hour be like at four, did you? <laughs> just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I just I just heard somebody say that that you have no idea how connected you are. So so Heidi, who who's so let me I don't even know where to start. Let me start with this. There's um Heidi, they keep showing me a birthday anniversary, something really close that's coming. You got something really really close. When I see a bouquet of flowers, it's either birthday anniversary, celebration, something that just passed coming up, graduation. What's 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 really close? It could be it could be an anniversary, Heidi, of death. Um, somebody that's um, who's the father figure for you? Who's crossed? Is your dad still? Is your dad still here? Okay, so it's it's there's a there's um a father. Oh, I got it. There's a father figure for you. This is not a grandfather. It's a, but he's telling me that he he's connected to you. He's a father, but he crossed as a young male. Somebody, somebody's a dad who left this earth connected to you. Uh, who's Bob? My father. Your father's name is Bob. Yeah. Oh wow. Um, so he's the. Oh yeah, Robert, Bob. Um, so l- let me just tell you. So now there's there's a, a guy in spirit 
who he told me he's dead and he loved being a dad, but he died as a young male, meaning that he died. He, he left this earth way before his time. So he's, he, but he's connected to the family and he's, if he's, if he's giving a reference to your dad, that means he's connected to your dad. Um, it could be because 70 to me is, is still young. So, um, um, okay, so let me just make sure I got this straight. So grandpa, so this is dad's dad who's stepping forward. But in addition, you also have a male who's a dad who is like, like he's waving his arms at you like, Heidi, you know, you know. Um, who's, who's the K, K, K or C name? Chris or Kristen or Kevin connected to you? Um, C, K, C or K name? I keep getting C or K name connected. First but Kevin, um, who's living? Okay, where, where does this young male come in that crossed? It's not grandpa, even though your grandfather's giving a big shout out to your dad and then also to his granddaughter, you. Um, but there's, a, there's, a, there's a, young, a, a male who crossed. He makes me feel like he was in, the, in his 40s that crossed. So keep it, keep it with you, Heidi. I don't know if this is also. Um, did your father lose a brother? Um, there's, there's, I, 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 all I can tell you is that this, this guy just keeps saying that he was a dad and he wants to get a validation, but it seems like it's connected to your dad. Um, in a di yeah, he, he was, well, young, yeah, I mean, you don't expect this age, however, he feels like he's like in his 40s when he dies, um, but but he was in, also a drinker, a big drinker, Heidi. Make sure you ask your dad, and, and John, John, Jane, Jen, where's the G, J, connected to your dad? Is there a, is there, I mean, not, not Jane, but there's a, there's a, a G, J name connected to your dad, um, and it could be middle name, Heidi, it could be last name. This, this, um, this young guy, and I say young guy, he, that crossed, just wants validation uh, in, in two kids he had. He's got two kids, he keeps saying, two children. So just maybe it's a friend of your, was your father in the military? Um, he feels like he, he he's bringing me to the military. So maybe maybe it was a friend of your dad's that left for the military and and you know got killed there. Make sure you ask your dad about it because it's it, he he wants the validation. What was that? <laughs> your father, you mean? Well, well, so maybe he'll just make it up and we'll all be set, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> all I know is that he started with Bob. He started with your dad because I don't know who your dad is. So if he did, it means that he's connected. Um, what, your mom, mom is here? Because um, I keep getting pulled to, towards your mom uh, also. Um, and there's, d d where's the two come in? Was, was she from two? Like, what, does she have two kids? Is she from two? Like, what's two? Um, I don't one child, run that by me again. Is your, is your mother, your mother has more than one sibling? <laughs> Heidi, I, 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 you know what? I wouldn't talk too much about your dad right now. <laughs> it's just, it's just, so your mom has two siblings. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, it's just your, your, because there's a grandmother stepping forward. So this, is this your mom's mom who's crossed? Okay, so she's just coming through and she's validating your mom and her, her three kids, her mom, your mom and the, the two others. That's all she's doing is just to, to, to say hi. The, jo, the, the other jo, John, Jim, Jane, John, there's an, it's on your mom's side.
What's his name? Well, where did the GJ come from? <laughs> Heidi, I... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi, I'm, Donna, I'm gonna... Donna, please do not drink when you call. Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Heidi, you know what? I, I need a family tree with you. That's what I need. So um, just, just make sure you know that, that grandma, grandpa, all stepping forward to let you know that they're around you, Heidi. So, um, you know, it's interesting. The, the, the last thing I'm going to tell you is that um, your grandmother, this is mom's mom, just said that that um, there's there's a there's a, a loneliness you you have, F just there's a and this is not about physical people around. It's just it's your grandmother just wants to make sure you know that you're not alone, and she just wants to because your grandmother also makes me feel like sometimes you feel like you're just let down, like people just, and this is like throughout life. Just know that grandma's just letting you know that. If if you could see everybody in spirit that's around you, because and they're also validating. You've got such such beautiful supportive people around you. But if you can see also in spirit how many people are around you, uh, you would uh, you would definitely just have your mouth open because it's it's a pretty incredible, Heidi. So just I'm going to leave that with you and lots of love and just make sure you think about this young guy um, because he wants validation. And, and he, he also just said that I think his name is D David, Don, Dave. It's a D connection, it's somehow connected. So just just think about it. Okay. But David is still here. Do you remember something, a young guy that was connected to you and David that crossed? Oh my God, Heidi. So his brother died? Did your ex's brother died? Okay, do you know how like how old they were? Yes. Oh my God, Heidi, there they all are. Um, they did, they, your, your, your ex brother-in-law did not want this phone call to end without really you knowing who this is. So just know that all of them on your ex's side are just stepping forward and, and, and coming forward. So um, that's good, Heidi. You know, it may be an ex, but when you have a spirit around you, that's a good thing. It's a really great thing. And yeah. But who's the drinker on the ex's side? Who drinks on your ex's side? There's a drinker. Okay. It's just, it's, it's just a way. Um, and David's the one that's still here. It's just a way, you know, yeah, exactly. When when I was talking earlier about the um, someone drinking, it's it was David's brother just trying to get you to go to David because he wanted validation. So I'm so happy we got to know who this was. And I got to tell you something. One of David's brothers loves you, Heidi, is always with you and is always helping you. So just make sure you keep that with you because it really is a great thing. Regardless of what the relationship, maybe it was great, maybe it wasn't. Um, just know that you got someone on your side, on the other side, that's always a plus. Perfect, Heidi. So listen, thank you so much for calling and watching and listening and so much love to you, okay? All right, Heidi, and we'll be right back. <laughs> the log road. I know, but she, she got We got it. There. We got it. That's we all that matters. There. We got there. So that's so we cool. And, so and I know that Heidi, Heidi watches all the time. And, um, you know, isn't it amazing that I'm just like, I don't know what else to do. I'm trying to get the validations. And at the last second, I just hear so David. And it's the X and everything Sunday, falls into to play. So, right? How wild is that? And his sister and everybody else. So, everybody just wanting to get their messages across in spirit. That's what this is all about. So, which is so great and so cool. So, we'll be happy. Hey, Shauna, how are you? Um, and I see Heidi, thank you. Heidi, thank you for calling. So, and hey, Linda, how are you? It's good to see everybody on here. And can you guys hear? Last time I used these particular headsets, uh, a couple of people told me 
that they could actually hear the callers through Facebook Live. So tell me, can you hear? I just spoke to Heidi. Tell me if you guys could have heard Heidi. I think when you you seen that. Come on, tell me. First time here from hey from Savannah. Is it Lewis? Lewis, if uh, I'm saying that right, um, Luis, 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 are you, what, you, now you don't even know how to pronounce a name like Luis? I don't, I mean, it's spelled, come oh on. Oh my God, people, he's only been married to a Puerto Rican for 26 years. Hey Diana, years. hi Terry, hey Linda, Sheila, everybody's here. Yes, hey, Luis. Luis. Luis, honest to God. Well, Luis, I've been speaking Spanish for Luis Morales. Hello. Well, listen, when I just see your name, I just, I don't want to just say oh. it. Mira, see, he, he said I nailed it. Luis Morales. <laughs> see, the third. I love that you actually have like the third. Lois. Luis, I love, seriously, I love that you actually have the third. That is, I think to me, that is the coolest thing. So, and I'm so glad you're listening. So, and and you can also um, call for reading. He's sucking, he's sucking up, trying to make no, up for not. that. No, I'm not. I'm just, uh, oh, the music's on. Oops. Like, we're just chatting on Facebook Live. The show's on. Nobody's on the show because I'm just chatting with Facebook Live. All right. And we have calls. 508-222-1320, guys. And welcome back. You know, before I take the next call, let me just tell you that if you're listening to this and Heidi, Heidi I love, and, you know, Heidi's ex-brother-in-law so bad wanted to come through and Heidi just wasn't getting it. Um, it's, 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 it's me giving the messages. It's, it's the person receiving the messages. Nobody is to, I don't say that like Heidi's not getting it because she should have not at all. It's just the way it is. And right at the last second, I'm just about to switch to a next phone call and I just hear say David and there it is. It all worked. We all got those validations on Heidi's ex's family side and everybody is very happy. It means so much to people when I do these readings because I see their faces, but I can't even tell you how much it means to the other side. When, when they get validated, it, it, it's like for us winning the lottery. It really is. It's so important to everybody. So, all right, I will shut up now and go to the next caller. Hi, this is Steven. Who's this? I am talking to you, Louise. How are you, Louise? How are you? Can we? This is your husband's anniversary. Wow, Louise, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure for you, it's um, probably unbelievable that it's already been three years. Uh, you know what, Louise, and and that's just it, it's part of it. And just knowing, um, you know, knowing that your loved ones are with you and they really just have changed physically, but every other way. It's like Louise. I I, I tell people a great comparison is just a, a caterpillar. That's a caterpillar that goes through the whole phases and then turns into this amazing butterfly. So you no longer see the caterpillar anymore, but then you have this beautiful butterfly. And that's what happens when we transition over and to, to all, I mean, your husband's already here. All your husband wants is for you to keep remembering that so that he's with you. If there's one person that is with you 24 seven that hasn't left you, it's your husband, but he validates, is it two children? He, your, your butch just um, validates the two um, and just wants to make sure that they know that he's around also. Um, you know, Louise, uh, uh, your husband, it's important for your husband to bring up things that have, that have happened recently, um, just because he just wants to make sure you, that you know that he's here. One of the things that he kept showing me this, this star, the, uh, this star. So 
keep stars i don't know if what he's saying is like like in in at nighttime looking up in the sky and seeing shooting stars or if this is something you've you've done before or there's a connection with stars but in addition to like the the sky and stars um he keeps talking about and i don't know if this has happened or not but he keeps talking about um he's going to play with the lights like make a bulb flicker or make a bulb blow out. There's something something with electricity. So I don't know. Have you seen that already? Right. Did did it ever go on? Well, I had to get some people over and then when I have to take you over and get people over. Wow. Well, I you know, I I I think what you said is perfect about, you know, just it's 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 just about trying to it's really about trying to say exactly what you just surmised. Um, Louise, is that, you know, I, I, this is butch. Whatever way you want to go with it, whether to keep your mind off it, it doesn't matter. It's just, if, if you even get to a point of saying, this has to be my husband, that's what they want. But the lights, the light is not that. It's, it's, it, he keeps, and you don't have a connection with the stars or is there a star like necklace? What is it? He keeps showing me a star and I, I automatically go to the sky because that's where I see stars. But maybe maybe it's like a pendant or it's a um, a, a Oh my God. Oh my God, Louise, are you serious? Oh my God. So, so. Louise, I, I just, I just, which is very rare. I just got um, your husband go through me. I just, you know, I tell people and it's never me. It's people that are sitting in front of me that I'm reading when they get those shivers and I can see it. I can see it through. And I say, D did you just get a shiver? And they're like, yes. I'm like, that's your loved one going through you. He thanked me because he said, this means so much to you. He just went through me. And I'm like, oh my God, your husband, I love him. And no wonder why I kept looking up in the sky and seeing stars. It's on your ceiling. My God, Louise, that is so great and so cool. If if that's not something uh, for you to hang on to when you think about the three years, it's just a way to say, Louise, I know you would prefer me to physically be here, but please, please know that I am here every every second. Your your husband just said to me, tell my wife that this is even better for me because you know when I was in the physical world, I couldn't be with her 24 seven. Now I can, I can see every single thing that she's doing. So this is, it's, it's, a, it's a great way to let you know that he's here and how much, uh, how much he loves you. He, he keeps showing me um, a, a, like a, a, it looks to me like a jewelry box, like in someone's looking for something were you looking for something specific like based on his anniversary or did did you did you put something on that was that he bought you what why is he connecting he connects me to you finding something or looking for something that connects to to him did, did you didn't just put something or recently grab something that that you haven't been wearing or that he bought you to to have on Oh, that's what it is, Louise. That's what it is. So, so wow. Um, that's so wild. So you wore his jacket all day today. Wow. wow. I love it. If that's not a way, again, to let you know that he's with you, Louise, he's watching everything. He knows everything that's, that's going on. Just um, what's with the, the, the poison ivy?
Why, why is he? Why does he? He. Uh, Well, well, you know what? I mean, there's a lot of places that have poison ivy, but it could be that he's just bringing it up because you know it's in the backyard and he's always there. He just also said to me that he wants you to know that his mother is stepping forward to be, give a big shout out and to say hi to you with the star thing and the story about you know what his mom said and he she's looking down from the stars. It's just a way to let you know that she's also stepping forward to to let you know that that I love what she just said. She said, "Tell tell my my." daughter and daughter and daughter she just says daughter um that he's okay that she's making sure that she takes care of him until you two reunite it it is Well, you know, this is definitely not, I mean, of course, your mom, dad, everyone else is here, but this is definitely very, spe this is very specific that she wants you to know that you have your mother with you, but you also have a second mother with you. So she wants to make sure you know that um, if you're ever, you know, looking to maybe make a decision or you're just having very sad times, make sure you reach out to her and talk to her because she's there with you too. So it's, it's just, it's a great thing. And she was very deliberate to say, you know, I know Louise loves her mom and she's there, but I want to make sure she knows that I'm here too. And she calls you a daughter. So, um, so just, just make sure you keep that with you. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And your husband just said, when we hang up in tonight, when you're sitting in that room and you look up at those stars that he brought up, just make sure you know that as you look up, he's hugging and kissing you and he's wrapping his arms around you. So I'm going to leave you with that, Louise, and lots of love. Thank you. For, go, sure. Well, you know what? Just check my website and when, when something does come up, Louise, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll just definitely will let you know. All right, Louise, lots of love. Bye-bye. And we will be right back. She, those, she was coming through very low. It was hard to... Oh, maybe that's what you were saying? Yeah, yeah she was very, very cranked low. Cranked up, yeah. That's what he is. Don't say it. I love it. I love the picture. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Jim now, for awesome. anyone who was listening or couldn't hear, how amazing is it that Louise that just called lost her husband to his today's his third year anniversary. I think she said today. Yeah, today. Third year. And that he keeps showing me stars. And she's got actual stars in the room she sits at at night on the ceiling. And that when she shuts the light off, they stay lit for a little bit. How amazing is that not only to say that he is in the house with her. I've never been to her house. But to say that it's a, it's a validation that he's with her all the time. Him? Anybody else that's watching this or listening? Anyone who's ever been read by me? That's what this is all about. It's just our loved ones saying, we're still here. We haven't gone anywhere. The, the veil is so thin. We're right here. We're, we're standing right next to you. Our energy, our souls, um, what we remember as the person. Um, what I love, though, is that if we lose someone who's older, a lot of times... When they come through, they'll come through and they'll sort of pick the age that they loved so that the, 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 the memory is not about when they were sick. The memory was about when they were vibrant and fine and healthy. I kind of love that. I mean, I know that that's what we're, you know, when, when, when we lose someone who's older, that's kind of the vision you see. But, you know, usually, in, usually the memories, those heartfelt memories come when the person can do everything, right? When either when we're young, if it's a mom or a dad or grandmother, they're, they're bringing us to, to places. 
and and that's really when, when like, it's, it's and experience. those great, great and memories. And I love Spirit knows that, and that's what they want us to, to keep with and remember. So, um, but the stars blew me away. They really did. And the fact that he actually went through me, which usually never happens to me, it happens to the people I'm reading, is kind of wild. When you get that that chill, that's how loved ones just going right through, is to let us know that they're here. So, um, yeah, I, I completely agree, Shauna. Mark, this close? And welcome back to Through the Static. Louise's reading was pretty amazing that her husband, who was this, today's the third year anniversary, is showing me stars and she has stars in the room that she sits on, sits in at night. That's pretty amazing. And as I'm doing Louise's reading, some guy in the studio, we're right at the street level. Some guy just walks by with a nip and just, just, just drink. <laughs> yeah. It's so wild that I'm doing a reading and this guy's just having a great time just having a little afternoon nip. So, alrighty, so. <laughs> Uh, maybe too much information, but let's go to the next caller. <laughs> Hello, this is Steven. Who's this? Hey, Jeff, how are you? I'm very good, and I love, I always say this, Jeff, and not to embarrass you, but I love when guys call because I never get guys. So it's really great that you're calling, and I get to do this. So, <laughs> Jeff, maybe I should. I don't know. Um, uh, let, so let, let me see what's going on here, Jeff. Um, wow. Jeff, um, where does Ann, where's the A name come in for you? Living or crossed? Anthony, Ann, uh, as soon as I tune into you, middle name, last name, where, where, where's the, the um, uh, Ann? It's an A-N. It's like an Ann, Ann, Anna or Angela or Anthony connected in... Oh, so perfect. So no um, Auntie Anne is stepping forward first. Your your Aunt Anne just said to me that you would never, ever have expected that Aunt Anne would be the first to step forward. Um, and I love her. She, she's, I, I don't know how well you knew her, but um, she just has a, a great energy. And she's just letting you know that she's here and she's stepping forward. So um, she, 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 she's, she's um, uh, always with you too, Jeff. Um, you know, your Aunt Anne, though, tells me that there was a, with, there was a separation family-wise. So did, did, did Aunt Anne live away? Like... Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no! It definitely is. And this this was this was your aunt Anne's. This was your uncle, your, your aunt Anne's husband. Yeah. So so know that that's the move. That's the separation. So just know that aunt Anne just wants to give a little validation that it really is her, and that after she crossed, she saw what happened, and she's just always with everybody. So um, and there's also Ro Robert or Bob. Who is this connected to you? Oh my God, Jeff! So no, um, uh, know that, and I'm sorry that that he's not here any longer in the physical capacity. But I got to tell you something, Jeff. Um, your brother is—he's uh, almost bigger than life um, in the physical world because he's his. He he just said to me that he he keeps calling my. He's um, I don't know where to start with him. Jeff, your brother is is in tears, in, but happy tears because he's so excited that you called and he said that I made my brother call. I made my brother call to, to let you to, so that he could come through because he said that's who he wanted. He and even if you say to me, no, that's he's telling me you wanted him to come through. So he's he's he um, Jeff, he sends you. I can't even tell you the number of signs he sends you every day. He he keeps saying if this doesn't resonate with you, make sure you keep this with you. The birds, the birds, he keeps saying, he makes birds, anything really with wings, but he focuses on 
um, he focuses on like uh, the, the 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 birds that you hear that are very connected spirit wise, like 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 the uh, crows and the cardinals and blue jays. But he keeps he just said to me that recently you were driving and he had I don't know if this was a hawk I don't know what this was but he said a bird came right in front of the car so it so no it's him it's just saying you know Jeff that's that's me and he, and he said he appreciates you not hitting it so <laughs> he 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 also connects with you with coin he said that he leaves you coin uh, even though did someone did someone have a coin collection like connected to you or collect coin? He's, Jeff, you know what? He's pointing. When I get spirit pointing, it means it's not him. So let, let me just tell you quickly. So he he says that he leaves coins for you all the time. So if you're just, you, you know, you're getting out of the car and you look down and you see a dime or a penny, he keeps saying, "Tell, will you tell my brother to pick the Don thing up and look at the year? Because he said he leaves, he leaves specific years on the coins, like maybe the year you were born or the year he crossed, whatever it is. But... <clears throat> Or even like, you know, in the kitchen or in the, the car, you leave, you come back in and there's a, a, a coin on the seat. Make sure you watch it. But he's telling me somebody else collected, someone had a coin collection or something with coins in your family or connected to you, either living or crossed. Somebody else had some kind of collection. So just keep it with you. There's like, who was the pipe smoker or cigar smoker? There, there's somebody because I can feel the, I don't know if someone's making a cigar or someone's pushing like the tobacco into the pipe. So it's in, um, in John, 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 George, Jim, who's the, who's connected to you here? J, J, the G or J? Who, who was the J? Who's the G or J name connected to you? So, 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 Jeff, who's the, oh my God, so there it is, perfect. So know that your wife's getting a little action here too, even though she's not talking, it's you, Jeff. So it's just your wife's grandfather stepping forward to let her know um, that he's, he's here. Also, who had the business? With the with the business, because I see I see cars. It doesn't mean that the business is cars. Even it could be, but I I see a business. I see I I can see a business. I, I don't know. Maybe the business is not still in existence anymore. But there's a there's a business that started or is in existence that that I keep. And I don't know if this is to be honest, Jeff, because I just went to your wife's side. It could also be your wife's side. But there's a business. But it may it does make me feel like it's a car. A car or, or someone loves cars and there's a lot of cars around perfect so yeah that's I just keep seeing the, the the business but there's also either someone is looking to buy a new car or just bought a new car I'm on a lot so there's a connection with a car. Either either someone loved cars and had had you know had a, a several cars, or someone just bought. Uh, no, Jeff, who just who who? Because I just see registration. Who just did something with a car? Hey, so it's your brother saying, "Listen, now I can watch everything, Jeff. I can see everything." Um, there's also. Uh, a metal or something, something that your brother keeps talking about. Uh, th there's, there's, um, was he, was he left like when it, at his service, Jeff, was he, did someone put something on it in his pocket or in with him? What, what is he talking about? 
He he tells me you know. He just said he knows. <laughs> I I love it. So just know it's dad letting you know. Well, how this works, Jeff, is that they, you know, spirit will give me something that connects to them. So it's a way that I I can say it's not only your brother, your father is stepping forward. Your brother um also is very funny. He must have been funny in this world because he just said, my brother just said, this sounds weird. You're talking to dead people. How weird is that? Your brother's got a very good sense of humor, like very, very good sense of humor. And, and your brother also is, uh, Jeff, all I can tell you is that his heart is huge in the physical world. I mean, he was very empathetic and very, very sensitive to, to, to people. I mean, he was he was a very special soul um, on the in on this earth. But he also just said to me that he knew. Um, I don't know if this is going to make any sense, but he knew that this was going to. He, he was not going to have longevity here. That he knew he knew that he was going to go. And for him, he just he just hugged you so hard and said, "Tell my tell my bro that this was never for me about quantity. It was about quality." And Stephen, I could not have had the better. Nobody could not have had a better family than me. And the time that he spent here, how much he loves you, and um, and he just keeps saying, and th thank you for thinking of me all the time, and and thank you, th just thank you, thank you. So, um, um, Jeff, thank you. I'm I'm up. We're ending the show. I thank your brother for having you call because he's taking credit for it, Jeff. So I'm gonna leave you with that, and thank you for calling. Tell your wife, and I'm just gonna leave you with a lot of love. Thanks, Jeff. Bye-bye. And as I can't believe we're back and the show is over, I want to thank everybody who called. I did just want to make an announcement that I did open up my calendar. My calendar has not been open for ages, so I opened it up. There's some spots there. I, uh, some have already gone, but there's still some spots if you're interested. The great thing is for people that are not local, I do Zoom calls, which work the same way. You don't have to be in front of me. Uh, and so if you're interested in a reading, go to my website, stephenthemedium.com. You can do that. For everybody else, Facebook Live, thank you for listening. These were great callers, great spirit. And for the handsome guy next to me, your website. Oh, me? Oh, thank you. You thought I was talking about Mark, right? Well, <laughs> I, I hope you were talking about me. Just saying. Uh, performance Coaching by Elix. Perfect. Com. If you want to check him out, he's an amazing, has an amazing business. And Mark, I'm very happy that you're back. No. I sound like Willy Wonka, stop and reverse. And he used to do that. I'm very happy that we're back and that we got to do this with you. So um, until next week, we'll be back and listen, lots of love, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye, everyone. Okay, thank you, everyone here. Uh, Louise, you are so awesome. My best friend in the world ever told me to tune in. Right on. Is that Louise? Louise, Louise, he finally, thank you for, he for, finally for got your in. name right. He, oh, come on. Uh, I'll never forget you. it, Luis. Yes, no kidding. Luis All right. has a lot of great, great energy, Luis, by the way. You, I can just feel it. All right, everyone, we got to go. Thank you for being here. Bye. See you next week.